Hello, you guys are there. Ah, sorry guys, there was a technical problem. Yeah, yeah. extremely sorry. The other mobile got disconnected actually. Sorry. Okay, you guys are there. Are you able to? Oh, sorry, 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 guys. Okay, let's start fresh. Today is not that good day, I guess. Hope you you guys wrote this completely, right? Homo Brian uh, Pithecus, Raman Pithecus, Australopithecus, right? Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Neanderthal man. Homo sapiens sapiens. So these are the names actually, right? Okay, I don't want to drag this anymore. Let's let's find out that when you draw the table, right? So what you what we write is here, draw hence. Draw hence. Everyone is there, eight members are there, remaining has to join. Yo. Okay, remaining also joining. Please join, please join. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay, now. So if you see here, so in the table, what we write is draw hence. Okay. Draw hence. D R A H E N S. Draw hence. Okay. So when this draw hence we wrote, here, what, what exactly human evol evolution is nothing but, you know, it's not a direct evolution, right? We have studied uh, how the evolution takes place, right? So it, it is like a branching descendants. It's not that one evolved other and other and other. There are other human species which they got even extinct, right? So there are other different species out there, which subspecies and species, which they got extinct also. So we are more, it's like we are at the, you know, uh, you know, we are a young species. We are not most evolved, right? So in the evolutionary tea, uh, tree, right, if, if there are many misconceptions uh, in the entire world. If you see this in COVID crisis, right, everyone is blaming human. You know, we are highly evolved. It's not that we are highly evolved. In the evolutionary, uh, you know, uh, process, now we are the young species. Maybe we, after a few million years, we may actually evolve into different species based upon the environment given. And now the COVID crisis, as we all, every time we used to discuss, right? I used to discuss about the Wamsika species, right? That is, if there is there is any uh, kind of a mutation, and of there is any genetic uh, drift, if the drift in population, and now it's come coming through. I don't know; it will stop. Uh, let's see about it. So once we once we go back to the human evolution, so we will be dating back. So we start with 15 million years ago to now, right? So how, uh, from how, what might be the first, uh, you know, uh, human, uh, you know, first species would look like. So we have to know the classification of human as well. 
so when it comes to classification we have got kingdom animalia so we already talked about <coughs> so we already talked about uh, you know uh, five kingdom classification in that animal animalia is kingdom and phylum we belongs to phylum chordata are you able to listen guys are you able to follow what i am telling we are we are trying to discuss about uh, you know we are trying to discuss about human evolution so we need to know in taxonomical classification where we fall right so i am telling about the taxonomical classification that is nothing but kingdom that is animalia and we have got uh, phylum chordata right we belongs to the phylum chordata class mammalia right class mammalia and we have got order primates order primates hominidae family hominidae right and then genus homo and species sapiens right so this is a taxonomical classification of human species <laughs> okay let's see homo sapiens <laughs> okay let's see then okay jokes apart let's learn about uh, you know uh, no where exactly you know we have got a you know people used to tell that humans uh, you know evolved from monkeys and uh, orangutans right they tell that uh, we will do like this and we'll do like this so that uh, we are also origin from monkeys so my question is that if we origin from monkeys right or apes right how still they are all they still they are uh, still they are uh, monkeys we, we can see here right why they are not evolving if he came from monkeys right so we, it's a misconception right it goes on so if he if he came from uh, monkeys why we are able to see monkeys even now what might be the reason living no monkeys are living just monkeys uh, as monkeys only monkeys are not evolving into human species right so why is not i will laugh tomorrow <laughs> okay okay jokes apart why we are not yeah we both have commons exactly so as simple as it you know uh, if you see the monkeys they are all our sisters and brothers they it, it's not true that we came from monkeys it, it's a diversion is there so in this table we will be trying to understand that so first uh, you know first the entire evolution started with dryopithecus right so are you able to see dryopithecus the first one i am not able to see dryopithecus <clears throat> that is dryopithecus and ramopithecus right they they you know they are there uh, uh, on the earth over 15 million years ago we have a common ancestor exactly same ancestor very good so we have a common ancestor that is uh, you know we both you know Dryopithecus and Ramapithecus, if you see, they are all there according to NCERT textbook. They are there over 15 million years ago. And if you see the characteristics, so first one is mnemonic, second one is classification, second one is what are the different species we see in the human evolution, and the third one is origin. You can write the third column as origin. Okay, third column, first column. Anyways, I will I will give uh, you know I'll 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 give this uh, print out. That's not a problem. So are you able to follow? So first column is mnemonic. Draw hands. Draw hen. Right. We will be drawing hen without W. So draw hands. So D R A. There is no W. H E N S. So Dryopithecus, Ramopithecus, Australopithecus. Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Neanderthal man, and Homo sapiens sapiens. So this is a mnemonic. Once you write it, it would be very easy. Okay, yeah. So now we will be talking about origin. So when actually they have origin. So with this table, right, we can uh, even address how many number of questions come this from comes from this topic. 
even object was two marks, three marks, four marks, five marks. We can even answer from this simple table. Just like how I uh, how I used to give for homologous analogous organs. This is one of the table. So Dryopithecus, Ramapithecus, right? They are origin or they are there, uh, uh, you know, before uh, 15 million years ago. What are the characteristics? You know, Dryopithecus is more of an ape, ape-like and gorilla, you know, you got uh, chimpanzees, right? These are the, this is the common ancestor actually, common ancestor for man and ape. And if you see Ramapithecus, the second one, Ramapithecus is more of a man-like. So, man-like characteristics we see in Ramapithecus, not Dryopithecus. So, we, we, we have a common origin. So, the Dryopithecus entire uh, descendants, right? They are all orangutans, baboons, and monkeys, right? So they are they evolved into a separate track. And now even we see monkeys as monkeys because they are not evolved that much. So they directly come came all, all, almost a 15 million years. They are still monkeys, they are monkeys. So they we, we didn't see much evolution in that species, monkeys. But the Ramapithegas, which are man-like, they evolved into different descendants. So Ramapithecus, he belongs to 15 million years ago and he is man-like, okay? Now we are not talking about any language and the brain capacity and all because it's not even developed at that point of time. And then comes to Australopithecus. Australopithecus belongs to almost 2 million years ago. So we are actually, the time frame would decrease, okay, from 15 million to the present day scenario, the time frame would be, you know, decreasing. So Australopithecus, 2 million years ago, right? And what are the characteristics? If you see, they used to hunt with stone weapons. So if you see stone weapons, they used to use, but they used to eat fruits. Though they used to hunt with stone, but they used to eat fruits, right? And the next one, Homo habilis. Habilis is one of the meaning that is a guy is a guy which brainy kind of a you know brainy. So Homo habilis from Homo habilis only we will be seeing after characteristics you should be writing brain cap you know cranial capacity to which the brain is uh, placed in the volume of the cranium. So the volume of the cranium the skull size if you see in the page number one uh, if I'm not wrong. Page number 141, you can see different skulls, right? Skull sizes. Are you able to see? Uh, where is it? It's a diagram uh, 7.11. Are you able to see different skull diagrams? Right? Are you guys out there? Are you able to follow? Ah, yeah. So, cranial capacity. So, the last column, what we are talking is cranial capacity and that would be started from habilis. Okay? Homo habilis. Right? And the Homo habilis character is this. That is, first human-like creature. The first human-like creature. It means like if you see baboons and uh, orangutans, they used to bend like this. Right? On the four feet. Right? So uh, these guys are, or they they never used to lean with this uh, four limbs, right? And then they used to be free, right? So first human-like creatures or Homo habilis with some brain capacity that is over 650 to 800 and cc, okay? 650 to 800 and cc. So this is about Homo habilis, and then comes E. So we talked about D R A draw that is Dryopithecus, Ramapithecus, Australopithecus, and then Homo habilis draw hands H E E for erectus. Erectus means the one who, who erect. You know the spinal cord got erect. It means they completely not using these four limbs. Now they are called hands, right? When when we walk like this, we we actually use this. But now we are not depending upon these four limbs. So we simply use his hands for other purposes. So erectus, Homo erectus, right? Homo erectus, the timeline is 1.5 million years ago. Okay. And then the characteristics, if you see, 
fossils found in java island and they used to eat meat now the hunt, hunting and gathering they used to hunt eat meat and if these fossils right we use paleontology that is evolutionary uh, what is this uh, evidences we use paleontology right so these skulls and other fossils of this homo erectus we got it in java island so we call them as java man as simple as that and when they are uh, flourished 1.5 million years ago and they ate meat so you may get questions like who ate fruits who ate meat right and who started agriculture also that would be a potential question and if you see the cranial capacity it is just 900 cc cubic centimeters 900 cc are you guys getting are you able to follow guys so we are trying to talk about how these descendants are coming that's a that's a simple matter actually are you able to follow or again net got disconnected ah yeah okay yeah okay great and homo erectus is done homo erectus where fossils found in java so we call it as java man also and they have cranial capacity that is 900 cc and finally we come to neanderthal man neanderthal 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 so sometimes it is tongue twister so neanderthal man oh, i already gave right so uh, let me copy paste that again <laughs> neanderthal man neanderthal man 1 lakh to 40000 million uh, 40000 uh, years right and if you see neanderthal man 1 lakh to 40000 years ago right used hides used hides to protect the body right so the first protection of the body it's like you know kind of a hiding the body with the uh, you know some uh, leaves and all uh, we see from the neanderthal man neanderthal man and they used to bury their dead so the culture of burying the dead started from the neanderthal man okay and their brain cranial capacity is 1400 cc and if you see the though they have 1400 cc they are not that much uh, speech development and other uh, uh, civilization development is not that much favorable at that point of time neanderthal man right and then comes to modern man that is homo sapiens sapiens nothing but we right nothing but 17 uh, 75000 to you know 10 10000 years ago so we are just homo sapiens or 10000 years ago that's a very young species actually to say right <coughs> so young species so if you see modern man we know the, all the different characteristics we have consciousness we have uh, we invented a lot of uh, things and we started cooking we started even agriculture agriculture started with the modern man and there comes different uh, issues when we talked about human health and disease even the disease transmission communicable disease transmission is more when the when the people are started settlements you would have studied in your 10th standard geography that uh, settlements human settlements followed by their land occupation and the agricultural practices so that's the one of the point that the contagious diseases developed and now though we we are too much uh, uh, crowded places also because of human settlement and these are all agriculture started just 10000 years back right so that is a thing so if you uh, recollect everything draw hands right without seeing try to recollect right draw d r right d for dryopithecus r for ramanopithecus right australopithecus a draw hands right homo habilis n for neanderthal man right h e uh, e for uh, uh, homo erectus and then neanderthal man right and last one is nothing but we have got homo sapiens sapiens so with this we can actually complete the entire uh, entirety that is almost the entire human evolution which is covered in your ncert i just put forth in a simple table small table okay 
I will be posting this uh, in group or even I will leave it in the uh, no, uh, what is this description of this video. Is that clear, guys? So, so far, what we learned is human evolution is not direct process. It means one A is evolved to B is evolved to C. No, it's not like that. A evolved A and B has a common ancestor and Again, the B, C has a common ancestor, B, C, the C is evolved, right? And maybe B got extinct and C further evolved into D and E and D got extinct. So it's like branching descendants. It's not direct descendants. So that's what even the evolutionary figure, what we get, right? From uh, monkey, uh, that's what the monkey or monkey to the computer man. What they, they show the linear evolution that is completely wrong. That is that evolution depiction is completely wrong, right? So according to the process of evolution, it is branching descendants. So that's what uh, today what we learned is the simple mnemonics to remember is draw hands. Okay, it would be you know it's a new topic actually. Uh, I thought of revising, but uh, you know we we can we have to get used to even uh, uh, start the new topics also. But I took this mnemonic thing. I, maybe it's uh, difficult to explain the processes. Maybe, maybe uh, I will try to come up with some other ideas or other uh, slideshows so that it would be easy for you. But this is something which is a kind of a memory-based thing. We will be having seven kind of a species, and uh, where the first one is mnemonic, the second one is classification. And the third one is origin. When the year started, 15 million, 2 million years, like that, when the year started, and then comes to their characteristics. What Dryan Pithaka's characteristics, Raman Pithaka's characteristics, Australopithecus characteristics, and Homo habilis, where the brain capacity we started measuring, C 650 to 800 cc, and Homo erectus, Neanderthal man, they used to bury their dead, right? And then finally, Homo sapiens sapiens, modern man. And then finally, the other thing we need to remember is, that is nothing but, you know, the civilization. What are the signs of civilization or when they started actually? So when it comes to the civilization, the agricultural practices started, right? Agricultural practices started just 10,000 years ago. And if you see the prehistoric cave arts, if you see, you know, there are cavemen, uh, you know, uh, they used to live in caves also, and they used to uh, have an art. They used to draw some art with some, uh, you know, the fruits uh, dice. So we, we used to see this cave art prehistoric. We are history is something when we know when it is started. And the prehistoric historic cave art started almost 18,000 years ago. When it is started, Prehistoric area cave art 18,000 years ago. Okay. Prehistoric cave art. Okay. Prehistoric cave art. And agriculture agree. Agriculture started this 10,000. 10,000 years. Yes, I go. That is a thing we need to remember, guys. More than this, uh, they will not be asking, not, they will not be bothering in NCRT. It's a, it's a piece of cake. You know, this NCRT. You guys no need to freak out about the genetics. When you plan properly and uh, when you utilize time properly. I know, you know, sitting in the four walls would be really distressing. I, I, I know and I feel that. But plan you have some entertainment uh, time also and you have to relax yourself and then uh, you try to of course you, you should not be going out okay but just uh, that's what i'm making uh, things a uh, very you know kind of a uh, simple simple right that is providing some mnemonic so that you no need to go through entire text of course during revision time we'll go okay that is about this class okay and uh, i have a few few announcements to do today uh, is there any doubts in this run? All of you? Any anyone has doubts, ma? So we do, so far what we ah, very good. So for so far what we learned is draw hands. Okay. 
so once you practice by just looking into into the ncrt text you can do it and i have uh, important uh, you know things to share that is i will be sharing some links here in the description that is uh, uh, our uh, uh, saran and kadir uh, uh, prakalya shrividya amrita uh, kritika obviously they already sent few articles and their artwork and even videos that i will be maybe nandini ma'am nandini ma'am would be posting uh, in the group and please access and even i will be sharing those links in the description of this video as well so please go through they are all uh, doing a wonderful work and please you guys also join actually uh, kadir and uh, uh, saran they started with uh, from animals or they made their own animals or what is it right from where they got the heights for protection from animals or they made them yeah obviously you know one thing one safer option is that uh, trees leaves and all and obviously they started uh, with the hunting is there already so they used to start with the uh, you know animal skin later later in the uh, when the human actually evolved in the sense like uh, modern man more, at the modern man only we started all this things cotton and the other things before that animal skin only most is that okay okay so saran and kadir they started uh, with something uh, like uh, they plan to make a awareness video for the covid 19 and uh, remember guys the covid 19 is taking over mil- uh, you know many people life and uh, affecting economy and uh, many things even if you see the neat and je cbsc icsc all these results and other other things you know even uh, uh, net exams everything is postponed right at the same time it would be having huge impact on the economy indian economy as well so what the what exactly we wanted to do is we wanted to raise awareness we got articles from uh, amrita wahni and uh, prakalya shared uh, one of the poem and kritika shared the wonderful uh, uh, artwork uh, and uh, obviously and uh, saran and uh, kadir shared their videos and i really uh hoping to see other guys also please write any poems or anything or any any kind of an essay or for uh, just 50 lines or 100 words or 150 words of any small piece of uh, you know uh, awareness you can write it and post it to me so that we, we i will be posting in one of the website i i specifically made uh, to raise awareness that is super six education that is what so uh, kadir already sent one uh, Uh, one script actually one idea so we'll be sharing just uh, last 5 minutes let's see what is about so he planned that uh, to make a awareness video for covid 19 this includes every student of class 11 as set by teachers so everyone should unite now to get their work done so it means every student would join okay everyone every student would join participate in this uh, activity right just like uh, how we did in uh, right so uh, i hope that would look something like this so all, all the students you can see these are all screens okay almost many people are there now everyone is safe at home and they are they, w- w- what exactly we have to do is nothing but this video covers every aspect of covid 19 from its start till now and everyone can make 30 seconds video which should have at least one fact about current so a uh, 30 seconds so i, I can see and tell that the covid 19 evolved from the you know previously it is you know uh, mutated and then now it is a novel corona uh, no, corona virus and what might be the genome so 30 seconds enough like that every everyone 30 30 seconds you can send it to rakav or kadir or to me right safer options any safer op- options so that those 30 seconds videos of all our 11 standard guys computer science arts uh, commerce everyone bio students so we'll be compelling 
so let's unite to make people clear about the issue and mainly we are doing it on behalf of school of course you already have seen in group many videos done individually and even you are welcome to do that now we are working on a project named unite so the hashtag hashtag would be unite so we are actually you know in the social distancing physically we are distancing but emotional at emotional level at empathy level at the thought level we are uniting right to raise awareness so that is the only aspect of it or one of the aspect of this hashtag unite if i am not wrong and that 30 seconds video make make a big or huge difference and we are doing behalf of the uh, school yeah you can uh, put your boundaries i actually i don't see any boundaries but yeah you can put it in your boundaries yeah script will be given to the interested pe people by sir so this would be one script will be given what i'm sharing is one idea he has a script what you have to do and finally hoping for your response okay so whoever interested in this you please respond now you can interact right now if you have if you guys have any doubts hoping for your response and for more details please join in bio live session yeah now it's going on right 3:30 yeah so are you guys are interested interested amrita okay one we got so it will be just 30 seconds of uh, information that we need you will be sitting and you will be talking about it yeah prakalya interested shividya interested shivaditya uh, so whoever interested yeah ilamati kadir thank you friends for your quick response yeah exactly yeah yo again what happened ah okay okay so you can send it to me kadir or saran and you can coordinate uh, uh, among yourself and finally our only agenda single agenda is that we have to reach the entire world with that six uh, you know 30 seconds means almost how many members we have almost uh, 30 members i guess right so that video has to reach many people and that has to be reached their minds and hearts so that uh, they will be having a proper social responsibility what we are doing is social responsibility why we have to sit here right we we may go to andhra by now but why we are sitting here is we have a spot, uh, yeah script sir script i will be sharing or uh, saran will be sharing saran will be sharing to me whoever has uh, sir new species lucy said to be ancestors okay so what is the question actually lucy na uh, yeah nothing but australopithecus we have uh, origin uh, we are direct descendants lucy otherwise uh, we can uh, call them as australopithecus also i doubt homo nelandi okay interested hmm yeah we we found this you know species human species in uh, you know uh, ethiopia yeah that lucy is nothing but uh, the other name is uh, Australopithecus. Australopithecus. There are few, you know, subspecies who got extinct also. That would be really complicated. So what I made is a simple, uh, you know, a simple box or the simple uh, summary of the entire NCERT. That is human evolution. Yeah. So we can go ahead with that. So yeah, anything need to be added, I will be adding. Okay. So please share your, uh, uh, you know, uh, for the script you can uh, contact Saran or uh, uh, Saran or Kadir or me. So whichever is possible, uh, uh, please take even uh, parents' uh, permission also. Okay, don't fight with anyone. If they say no, okay, fine. 
okay but explain them uh, the necessity of uh, creating a video especially girls and boys or boys as well okay yeah so whoever interested ping me or saran or kadir okay i hope this uh, uh, once please go check with uh, this website that is uh, super six education and please share as much has uh, as much as possible i am already i will send it to you tonight sir okay so if you see by all uh, ma'am would ma'am will uh, you know share those articles you please uh, subscribe subscribe you know you please uh, put that in the mark so it is a educational platform we, we will share all your uh, artwork as well okay yeah if you if you want to share artwork poems your ideas and i will be sharing our uh, six innovation in that page also within a day i constructed that let's use and i am very happy for this uh, second session I, of course there were some technical issues okay and there was a net disconnect also i hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, session right so we'll meet you in the next uh, you know class and i will be sharing this uh, document in the thing and try to practice this okay so once you finish this go back to the homework that i gave you please complete it is it clear guys yeah thank you guys thank you guys for your uh, attention yeah i will be pay, uh, posting the links in the description yeah okay raja ma okay bye sharan bye okay lamathi swaditya please practice ra okay yeah fine we'll meet with some interesting topic next class okay please stay tuned i will be coming with some interesting topic <laughs> So wait for Vamsika species. Okay, thank you. Okay, see you guys. Okay. Okay, see you guys. Take care. Jai Hind. Thank you.